I know it looks like I'm going on a month-long holiday and not just a weekend trip to Manchester, but it's the only case that I have that fit my duvet and my pillow. And I'm sleeping on Chloe's floor, so it's what we're dealing with. I just wanna kick it with you. She has to go to a class four to six on a Friday, which is absolutely tragic. But there's this free fashion exhibit on at the Manchester Art Gallery, so I'm gonna go check that out while she has her class. I just wanna kick it with you. said her friend had an inflatable mattress. This really wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Pray for Phoebe. Pray for me. How nice to come back to after a night out. John Ryland's library which is absolutely stunning so like major Hogwarts vibes <laughs> it kind of makes me inspired to study honestly but there are actually people studying in there like I didn't realize yeah. you could actually study in it such a peaceful so, space we'll be studying there yeah you should <laughs> definitely go back there to study and then now we're just um, about to go do some thrifting because silly old me decided to bring the most absolutely massive suitcase with me and then, no clothes. then yeah literally proceed to bring like two bottoms and like three tops none of which are that fancy and we're going out for close friends birthday tonight and I have nothing to wear so hopefully I can like thrift something today because I heard that the Manchester vintage shopping scene is really good so fingers crossed
have a good kilo shot, don't we? That would be epic. You can for Halloween. <laughs> So I thought I'd give you a little haul of what we got. It's actually really cool though because there's a section of Church Street in Manchester with loads of vintage straws all like right next to each other in walking distance. And they all have like really nice curated pieces. So it was really a struggle not to spend all my money. But I did pick up some really cute pieces. I got this little brown belt. I stupidly left all of my belts back in Australia and I think... They're really great to elevate a simple outfit. So really happy about that one. And then I've also been wanting a blue and green kilt for the longest time. And then I randomly walk into this one vintage store and I find one, which is honestly fate. Um, and it has cute little pleats and you can wear it like with the pleats at the front or the back or even on the sides. So very versatile and I'm going to Glasgow next weekend. So I'm definitely going to be bringing that with me and wearing it. Um, so <laughs> I didn't really pick up um, an outfit to wear tonight, which was the original plan. But I think the pieces I got are really cute and I'm really happy with my purchases. So I guess I'm just going to have to raid Chloe's closet for an outfit. But that's right. <laughs> I think now we're gonna go head to the curry mall to get some dinner which I'm super pumped for because I've literally been craving Indian for months. I've been waiting for a while. <laughs> busy busy. just about to head to Chloe's friend's flat to make a little brunch because it's Sunday today and the dining hall's not open. And then we're actually going trampolining because there's a trampolining club at Manchester Uni that all of Chloe and her friends have joined. So that should be pretty fun. Um, we didn't get back to like 4am last night so I'm pretty rough. So I think I'm just going to spend the afternoon doing a few readings that I have to do for my uni course. Um, probably in like a little park because it's such nice weather outside. And then tonight I think we're actually going to go to this place called Freight Island which has live music so that should be pretty cool. I'm having very different times to breakfast. Yeah, clothes are going to be shut. <laughs> Elisa's like, this is crazy. <laughs> Wait guys, Anna's is Chef Central. Um, 
I used to do gymnastics, so it felt really like nostalgic being back in a gym so and moving my body in that way. Yeah. I think that's the thing that I love about uni. It, there's such a culture around getting involved and Having trying new things. things yeah. yeah, like despite your ability. And I think as you get older, it becomes kind of more scary to try new things. Especially like trying planning so yeah. random, but like... Yeah, exactly. Um, and like having clubs and societies which encourage participation is so lovely. We've literally come all the way to England and we've come to an anti-Codane restaurant which means Australian and New Zealand style it's food. <laughs> Back to our roots! But you know what? It's left. <laughs> yeah, like Australian brunches are where it's at. They're like... I'm not complaining. The best. <laughs> Even on the whole Milo, that's when you know. Oh my and god. And the cold Milo. The Aussie childhood classic. Imagine paying three pounds for a cold Milo. Loki highway robbery. Loki. Damn. Loki, I can fly back to Australia and make a Milo myself for less than that. <laughs> Shh. and got the hot Milo. To be fair, it does look like the bougiest Milo I've ever seen yeah. in my life. I've never seen a Milo look like this, but... Although you did break, break the bank. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally wearing like four layers right now. It's dropped like 10 degrees in the past two days. So bloody cold. Chloe led us on a bum steer. I was so ready to we came too late and it was close. It looks really cool though. It does. Yeah. We'll have to come back. Yeah, definitely. Dinner is served. Chloe with the goods. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. 